Hello and welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? Hope you're doing really well as usual. Today we're doing a beer review and I have a special guest with me. Uh, this man here, which most of you probably know exactly who this man is. This is Paul from Paul's Beer Reviews. Bonjour. He's, he's here. He's in Chris's <laughs> Beer Reviews little uh, kitchen corner. In and we're going to do a beer review together. Um, we've had a few beers already tonight. We have. We? Yeah, we've had too many. In fact, uh, <laughs> there was a keg of uh, life and death in there, which uh, I let Paul demolish, and he's rightly demolished it. <laughs> Not much left now. Not much left. In fact, there's, there's fuck all left in there. There's absolutely a sod all left in there. But we're going to do a beer review anyway. Uh, the, it's getting late. We're looking at 20 past 12 at night. Yeah. We've had a few beers, so a why, not, why not do a beer review? Um, we're off to S43 Brewery, and they're out of where? Durham. Durham. They're yeah. out of Durham, up north. And it's called Honey I'm Comb. Obviously based on the, the film Honey I'm... No, it's not Honey I'm Comb. Honey I'm Comb. Honey the Kids. The kids. It's it's it? Honey, I'm, honey I'm Home. Honey I'm Comb. Where'd that come from? Where does Honey I'm Comb come from? Originally. Answers in the, the I comments. I mean, that is a Shania right. Twain song. Yeah. yeah. It could be. Honey yeah. I'm Home. I had a hard day. That one. I don't That's know cracking. that one. And we've also got Abby in the background. Paul's yeah. better half. Apologies for my bad singing. That's fine. <laughs> This is all good. Used this is it. a Imperial Honeycomb Stout coming in at 11.8% ABV. Oof. And sadly, there's not a lot written on the side. It does mention the hops, does mention some malts, but no fancy write up. So let's just crack on. We'll get this in a glass. And in Stacky. true Chris's beer style, we'll see how she looks, how she sniffs, and how she tastes. Absolutely. So thank you for coming over tonight, Paul. No, yeah. thank you for having us, man. We've had Pleasure. a lovely dinner, quite a few beers. It's been a, a lovely evening. Currently watching the cats are in they're in entranced by something over there. I don't know what is entranced. We have we got three cats all staring at something. Where's the fourth cat? Yeah, where's the fourth one? <laughs> what is that cat doing? <laughs> the climbing cat the is wall. Literally climbing the wall. Climbing the wall. I, I can't even see it. I don't know what they're looking at. We might also be invaded by my wife, my son, and his girlfriend at some point soon. Yeah. As well. This could, be, this could be fun. Rachel went out to pick him up ages ago and never returned. Uh, so there it is, it's an Imperial Stout, it's not going to have a head. It does look jet black as. Absolutely. It is proper jet black, isn't it? That is. And then the Paul's beer review oh. style, Paul would say, let's get our snout in and see what the aromas are yeah, telling us. Let's get our snout in. Whereas I would say, let's have a sniff. Oh, it's just pure booze, isn't it? It is boozy, actually, isn't it? It's pure alcohol. I'm not picking up even anything other than booze. I ain't getting nothing else. There's no booze. honey. No. There's no honey. No. There's no. That is all booze. This is all right. What was it? Eleven point one. Eleven point eight percent. And you you pick up that. That is all booze. Yeah, I'm getting nothing but booze. I'm afraid. It's like a dark dark barley wine. Yeah. Do you know what? It smells more fruits. like. Yeah, a barley wine and he does a snout. A, a snout? A snout. He's <laughs> <laughs> got his snout in it. Yeah. There's dark fruits, which is like a dark barley wine, and yep. all booze. There's no honey, no snout. Snout? Snout. <laughs> 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 <You're doing it>. <laughs> <laughs> no snoutiness. No snoutiness in this one. No <laughs> snoutiness in this one. Nothing, mate, nothing. No snoutiness. Let's get stuck in. Let's get stuck in. Cheers, son. Cheers. Bosh. Honey, where's the? Oh, there is honey. It's, it has got sweet honeyness. What? There's nothing the can's telling us. Apparently, yeah, it's I'm getting the honey. Flaked wheat, chocolate, black roasted barley, English ale. Yeah, see, I kind of get the English ale side of it. More like a dark barley wine. Honey, extras, honey and honeycomb. There is honey. There's honey. And S43 can turn out some good beers, but I'm not convinced this is There's one honey. Of good beers. There's a touch of malt, there's a bit of dark fruit going on in there. But where's the stout? Where's the roasted malt? There's no stout. Yeah, where's the it's roasted malt? The taste is like the aroma. It's a dark barley wine and it's thin. Yeah. For an 11.8%, that is quite thin. Have a taste, Abs. Have a taste. Oh god, it's dark. Go I don't on. do dark. That's it's quite thin for an imperial stout. That's really thin. There's no stout. 
It's I mean, boozy. It tastes more like a wine. Yeah. It's not winey. <coughs> you know? The first thing that came port. to my mind was port, yeah. Port. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> port. That comes There's to no mind. roastiness to it. There's no grrr to it. You wanted a crunchy bar? Yeah. Honeycomb. I want chocolate. something. Chocolate. There's no chocolate. Um, it's a port. I'm, um, yeah. It's a port, but I'm going to be honest. I, I do get a bit of chocolate, I think. Not you much. Do. Not much. <laughs> I don't but know I, I'm tonight, very much on your mind. Yeah, it's a port. It's very port-like, a... isn't it? Yeah, it's, well, it's just booze. It's port, dark fruits, sultanas, But it's raisins. To me, it smells like a port as well. It does. It oh, smells like and it tastes like. It's boozy, there's dark fruit, there's a bit of cherry. You're right about cherry. I'll get no chocolate, no coffee. No. Nothing like that. Oh, see, I get chocolate and coffee in that, but I don't really? get the cherry and I don't, yeah. But I don't like dark beers. So that's probably Maybe why I'm getting later. the that's opposite why you to you. It out. <coughs> Excuse me. I do get the cherry. It's, it's, got, it's, it's, it's like boozy sultanas. Sultanas and raisins soaked in booze. Yeah. And a port. It's like boozy fruit. It. It's boozy fruitcake. It is a boozy fruit but cake. But it's not getting any stout characteristics. If you like a boozy fruit cake, this might work for you. And yeah. I don't mind a boozy fruit cake, but in a dark barley wine. Not something that's labelled to be a honeycomb stout. There's a reddish a reddish yeah, humor a reddish, to it, isn't there? There is, yeah. Actually, you have to look at it in the glass. I mean, you're probably not seeing that on the camera, but no, you won't see that on the camera. You're actually there angling is. the glass. There's a reddish hue to it. It's not. This isn't a stout. It's a poor hue, isn't it? You see that? If I angle the glass, you see the red I to can, that. Yeah, I can see a red tinge, but I don't know whether that's just bias because there's a red light behind that's it. That's not a stout. That's a fair point. There was a red light behind us that showed white that, on the camera. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, it shows, well, I mean, it shows a bit pink on the no, camera. I'm still, but seeing yeah, it. I'm still seeing it over here. For a honeycomb stout, and I've, I've done a few honeycomb stouts, New Bristol Brewery have produced some amazing honeycomb stouts, and this isn't anywhere near it. Even at 11.8%, it doesn't get anywhere near. I'm not, there's the slightest hint of honey, but that was on the first taste, and I'm now not getting it anymore. That's, that's gone for me. Yeah. It's all the dark fruits poor wine type flavours and the mouthfeel I think's thin thin so thin yeah for something that's 11.8 percent that mouthfeel is shocking yeah I'm massively underwhelmed with that and it's S43 put out some good beers mm. this just isn't one of them that's not fantastic there's, there's a candied sweetness to it there's a candied sweetness a bit of dark fruit a touch of honey the honey kind of comes and goes. And one mouthful is there, the next mouthful is, yeah. is gone. There's no roasted malt. There's nothing. There's, There's nothing, nothing charred it, or... Here's the question. Yeah. If you blind tasted that, blindfold on, would you have said that's a stout? Hell no. No. Never. Not even close. An impy stout as well. Yeah. It should be like a barrel aged character to that or something. It gives nothing away on the can. Columbus hops, malt, Munich, crystal... I'm not even getting any crystal character. Crystal dark, flaked wheat, chocolate, black, roasted bud. I'm getting none of that. I've just got the tiniest hint of chocolate. Is tiny. it because I just said it though? It was as you said it. <laughs> it's that framework. Because I've it? said it, I've yeah. said the word chocolate. No, I see, I got the coffee and the chocolate. Because yeah, I was amazing. going more coffee first, and then I thought, no, it's probably more chocolate. And I was arguing with myself whether it yeah. was coffee or chocolate. And then you said coffee and chocolate, and I thought it's probably both mm -hmm. that I'm getting, but I can't get the cherry. It's a sweet cherry. But I don't drink stouts or anything dark, so. Oh, yeah. There is an underlying bitterness to it all. Really? But for me, it's just not enough. It's not enough, it's, it's hidden behind the sweetness, the fruitiness. I, I don't even get an underlying bitterness. I just no? get sweet on the back. Not back end. Back of your palate, you're not getting a, a touch of bitterness. No, I, I get the alcohol on the back of the mm. back of the throat, but I'm not getting any any real bitterness. It's, I find it quite sweet. Yeah, I find it very sweet. It is sweet. It's too sweet for my liking. It's um, I just don't think it's. It's not balanced. 
There's no balance to it. It's all up front. It's not well put together. It's sweet, it's dark fruits, there's no roasted malt to it. It's not a stout. It's not How's a stout. that a stout? It's never a stout. No, I don't think so. It's a, it's a dark something, meat and a barley wine. Yeah, yeah. And pork. It's more it's a barley wine ounce. than it is a stout. Absolutely. This stout doesn't have a stout body to it. No. And at 11.8%, it should have a big, a good mouthfeel. It doesn't even have a good mouthfeel. No. It should be thick, it should be oily, it should be lining your palate, and it, it just doesn't do that. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, I finished it. I yeah, probably so. You're, you're, yeah, you're going to have to finish my mate. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not drinking anymore. That. That's, um, so that's there you go. That's not ticking the boxes. So, yeah, that's um, S43 Brewery Honey Iron Comb Imperial Honeycomb Stout, which absolutely is at 11.8% ABV. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to have the legend that spawns beer reviews in the, the Chris's beer reviews it's been, it's area. Been a, it's been a delight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. We've had a few beers. We'll see you sometime again on the next one. Abby, press stop. Press the stop Quick. button. <laughs>